Hi, welcome to JLabs. In the previous video, I showed you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi via SSH with the limitation that you can only use the Pi over a console using the PuTTY application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi so you can use it over a graphical user interface as if you're actually plugging a dedicated monitor to the device. Connect your Raspberry Pi to your laptop. You can connect it directly using an Ethernet cable or connect it to the same network as your laptop using a Wi-Fi dongle. You will need an internet connection for your Raspberry Pi, so make sure that you have configured your computer to share its internet connection if you opted to connect your Pi directly to your PC. Install a VNC server application on your Pi. The VNC server is an application that promotes the graphical desktop on the Pi, allowing remote users to access your Raspberry Pi using a VNC viewer. To do that, launch the PuTTY application that you have installed from the previous video, and then update your Raspberry Pi operating system. Install VNC server. After the installation is done, start the VNC server. VNC server needs to be started manually by default, so you might want to set it to automatically start whenever your Raspberry Pi starts. Doing so will eliminate the step to connecting your Raspberry Pi via SSH and manually starting the VNC server. To set your VNC server to start at startup, open the config folder. Create a folder called Auto Start, then create a file name type vnc.desktop. Input the following text and save the file. Now we need to log into the graphical user interface of the Raspberry Pi to do the final configuration. Get the Pi's IP address and take note of it. Type ifconfig. On your desktop computer, launch the VNC Viewer application and then input the Pi's IP address. Hit Connect. Now we need to edit the Raspberry configuration so that it will automatically boot to the graphical user interface at startup. Launch the LX terminal and type sudo raspy config. Enable boot to desktop. Select desktop, press OK. Select finish to exit and save the changes made. The next time you reboot your Pi, VNC server will start automatically and now you have a graphical desktop of your Pi running on top of your laptop. Every time you want to use your Pi, just launch the VNC viewer on your laptop and then input your Pi's IP address. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have a specific topic you want to be covered, please comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated of our upcoming videos.